Yes, sir. You already know it's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. If you can't take the pain, you don't deserve the gain. So in this video, before we get into it, let's get a thumbs up. We're going to be disclosing three of the best strategies to use while day trading or, you know, being involved in the stock market to give you buy signals on when to buy a security, guys. So let's go ahead and get right into it. You know, consider joining the family or not giving out you know the free gems guys so let's go ahead and get into it the first thing the first uh buy strategy that i use is going to be a dip buy guys and dip buy isn't necessarily in my opinion just when the stock pulls back that's not a dip buy just because it's red or pull back or pull back i believe a nice dip buy where you will want to strike for the opportunity if the criteria and everything lines up for that stock that will be a 30 to 50 percent drop in price action that's what i look at as a yeah i come out i come out you know i come out and put my gloves back on for that type of opportunity so that will be the first strategy you know deal by for stock basically for you be able to visualize it it's trading at five dollars and it pulls all the way back it want to pull all the way back to two dollars and fifty cents two dollars and seventy cents i might hop in and ride it back up to around three dollars and twenty five cents three dollars and some change i ain't trying to go all the way back to five that's being greedy i just want to take a meat of the move and then have my risk management in place as well just in case it don't go as i expected for it to go so i hope that makes sense for you guys so let's go ahead to the next strategy the next strategy we use is going to be a breakout a breakout is basically whenever the stock hits the same level multiple times to the upside near resistance you got support and resistance so whenever it hit resistance where the stock keep getting rejected at whenever it's consolidating and it keep getting rejected at this certain point say if the price is the stock price is at five dollars we're going to use that scenario and they keep going up to 550 every time it get to 550 it come back down and hold support at five go to 550 Come back down, hold support at five, go to 550 again. That's where resistance is. And then on the fourth time to going to 550, it starts to break above it and go to 555. So now that's considered a breakout. This stock is breaking out. Now, what I want to do is on this play is I want to ride it after it break above 550 to six dollars or 650 but i want to use 550 now as my floor as a support meaning if it going to go up under 550 that's my cue to get up out of there that breakout ain't working so but i want to give myself enough room up under that level because of course market makers can manipulate that price and bring it down some and try to get you out of there especially if you got a a, a limit sale order in there to where they can see on the markets to where you're trying to sell at. So what you want to do is, you know, do a hard, a hard sell, meaning you want to be there and sell it manually yourself. So with that being said, guys, if it came down to 550, you don't want to get out right there because market makers know what's going on. You want to get out at around five, 525, 510, give yourself 530, give yourself some wiggle room from that new support level because of course it ain't gonna hold up there as soon as it do that breakout because support levels tend to have to take a few tries before it actually build it so that would be a breakout and the last one guys we got for you for the strategies will be first green day our first green day is basically whenever a stock comes about you see your biggest gainers of the day when they first they first time coming about on the exchange just popping up out of the blue like dang this stock just went crazy today like the whole three months five months ago it's just been sitting stalling out it's been just sitting at two dollars two dollars and ten cents two dollars and five cents it's really ain't been doing nothing for months and weeks and all of a sudden that stock go from two to eight dollars and then that's that's the first day it did that that's a first green day. Typically, whenever you have a first green day like that, a stock can move that next day as well. Not all the time, though. Just because you see a stock go crazy that first day because it ain't do nothing in the past, don't just say, oh, behave, it's a first green day, I better buy because it's going to do something automatically the next day. No, don't be that naive. You want to be smart and meticulous. This just, these tips that I just gave is just extra, extra, what's the word for it? 
You know, we, we keep it raw, guys. But extra tools for you to be able to use and utilize to help you give a, get a better advantage on the markets. Because that's how people become successful in these markets. They got an advantage to their, you know, on their side to be able to give them that leverage to be able to capitalize whenever they see those opportunities. So use them to your advantages, guys. Like I say, guys, you know, giving away the free game. Do your best to at least like the video, hit the subscribe button, and share it with your friends. I love you. We out, and God bless you.